Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Today we're looking at the new collaboration event for Mobius Final Fantasy, the other mobile Final Fantasy game. Let's get right to it. See what we got here. Story. Uh, Riffle passes through the fabric of space and time and the doorway of the, to the record realm of Mobius Final Fantasy stands open. Despair has cast a long dark shadow across the land. The winds have stopped the seas churn and the earth rots. It's like Final Fantasy 1. People wait for a hero to appear, the hero foretold in the ancient prophecy when darkness shores the land, the warrior of light will come, hope rides in his wake. After a long journey across the ether, castaways without pass appear on the shores of Palamecia. One of them is destined to become the warrior of legend. You stand among them. Are you the hero the prophecy foretells? So what we got here in the event rules, we trade prismatic seas for rewards. You can get them by completing the dungeons and defeating enemies. Trade prismatic seeds at the prismatic seed exchange to get all sorts of items. And highlights, what we got. Coot heroes from Mobius from Final Fantasy 1 and Mobius Final Fantasy. So we've got Wall, Echo, the Warrior of Light from 1, Garland from 1, and Sarah from Mobius as well. Uh, get memory crystal 2s. Level cap up to level 80 for ooh, Garland as well. Nice. Wall, Echo, and Sarah. And get memory crystals for Wall, Echo, Sarah, and Garland. And we also get Soul of the Hero, memory crystal load, and memory crystal 2 load. And a 4 star accessory Mystic Tablet that boosts resistance by 20. And let's jump into it. music. So this is our prismatic seed exchange. Let's see what we... Ooh, wow. We can trade a lot from mithril. So how many mithril can we get? So we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total of ten mithril from this. That's nice. Mystic Tablet, Soul of the Hero, Memory Crystal Load, Memory Crystal 2 Load, Garland Memory Crystals. Oh, so this, this is how we get the Memory Crystals then. Uh, growth Eggs, Greater Growth Eggs, Major Growth Eggs, Holy Orb, uh, Lesser Orbs, Normal Orbs, and Greater Orbs, and Gill. So we're going to be spending a lot of time in this event then. Uh, so let's jump into the runic temple easy. Uh, we get prismatic seed times 150, rune blade, mithril, the warrior of light and wall. And the boss is red dragon. Powerful physical fire attacks that can hit single heroes or the entire party. Temperature rising ability. Next turn follows into flame breath. Uses barrier to raise its defense. But it's not likely that we're going to see any of this since we're going to kill it instantly. Defeat the Red Dragon without being KO. And this is our party. We've got two from the FF party since that's all the characters we have from FF1. Um, we just filled the other slots with the Black Mage and White Mage and of course Tyro as well. See what we get for Roaming Warrior. Uh, yeah, we'll get Sentinel's Green Warrior. Not that we're going to use it. And it's got the original music from the Mobius Final Fantasy game as well, which is nice. And the original battle music as well. Put it to auto. We'll put it on speed 3. So we can listen to the music. Oh, and it looks like we get prismatic seeds from these as well. Uh, but we're killing them instantly, of course. Come on, we want prismatic orbs. Ah, there we go. Seven from one enemy. Of course we get champion. And let's move on to the Runic Temple, level 2. Easy. 
course it's easy. So yeah, like I say, it looks like we're going to be spending a lot of time grinding since this is a collector's event, not a challenge event. It's not going to be around for long so I suggest you get grinding as well. In order to further increase your items in your inventory, get those ability orbs, get those memory crystals, get those um, just get everything in the event strange victory music and we get 21 prismatic seats from that so that's nice and into the runic temple depths easy We won't auto on the boss. These are actually uh, monsters from the Mobius Final Fantasy game. Because I have played it. Dust Rippers. But we can't draw any orbs from these, so that's a shame. Come on, we want more prismatic seeds. Cool music, yeah, that's pop synth. See what he does. Very, uh, Reaper hit all. Reaper hit all. Alright, we had enough. Shame really, because it's pretty cool music. Oh, nice, some prismatic seeds. And we get wall, onion dice, so is his basic soul break, deal 3 physical attacks to one target. if they're in a uh, series of their own or their classes. FF1 characters? Probably not. So we get Prismatic Seed, Rune Blade 1, uh, Mithril times 1, Greater Growth Egg, since that was a Warrior of Light but we already have it so it gets converted, and Wall as a new character. So wait, did that say it was from 1? Yeah, it looks like it then. And let's go into the dark, the Drake Grave, sorry. We get 400 Prismatic Seas for this one. Copper Armlet, Mithril, Sarah and Echo and our boss is the Cockatrice. Uses powerful single target magic attacks like Arrow and Eroga. Uh, turn after it uses Faith. And then hits the party with Hurricane Breath. Vulnerable to Earth, okay. Defeat the cockatrice without being KO'd. And how far we can actually get down this event. Let's bring Stone Skin to. Into the Drake Grave Part 1. Normal. So it looks like these are going to be the daily events. Um Yeah, it looks like there's not going to be any like any elite version. 
since this is only a collector's event and not a challenge event. So I reckon we can get up to hard with this party, maybe even try heroic. Depends how much stamina we have left. Of course we also have the new relics for all the new characters. Interesting how they um, count as Final Fantasy 1 characters and not Mobius Final Fantasy characters in their own right. Potion, that's nice. But we want seeds. We want seeds. Nothing. That guy gave us nothing. That guy gave us nothing. What the hell is this? Well, we're not getting any greater growth eggs from this, so... Let's see if we get any more growth eggs. There is a daily login bonus for this collaboration event. You can get... I believe it's called a Mog's Armlet. For the third daily login reward. And of course you get other stuff as well. Mithril's growth eggs all that stuff and here we have the cockatrice let's just see what he does we'll just use stone skin pop a barrier for ourselves physical attack physical attack Physical attack. Arrow. Anything interesting? Aroga. Faith. Okay. He's going to use his hurricane breath then. Hurricane breath. Yeah. Alright. We've seen everything. Let's kill it. Dead in two hits. I guess they're wanting to make them FF1 characters so they'd have synergy with this event. And we get Echo, she's offensive magic healing gift, grant region to all allies, like Lena's basic soul break as well. Sarah, healing magic, leading light, steal white magic, holy damage to all targets. Hmm, that's interesting. And we get 45 Prismatic Seeds. And as I said before, our completion, our rewards are 400 Prismatic Seeds, Copper Armlet, Mithril, Sarah, and Echo. And let's move on to the next section. Uh, stamina's not bad. Desert Runic Temple. So we get 1500 Prismatic Seeds, Rune Blade 1, Copper Armlet 1, uh, Garland, and Mithril. And our boss is the Myers Myersmatic Lich. Begins the battle by wielding devastating earth magic attacks like the single target spell Stone and Stonger. Earth Barrage, which hits three random targets. After using its heightened form ability, it strikes the party with Stonager. Resistance to earth but vulnerable to wind. It shifts from earth attacks to water and ice. In this new form. In ice form, he uses Blizzard and Blizzarga and Water Barrage. Uh, after it uses Power Awakens in this form, it hits the party with the group Magic Ice Attack Blizzarga. Blizzarga. And it's vulnerable to fire. You can use Harbinger in any form. But basically, we want shells. 
So let's see. Do we have any Shelgas? No. Sentinels Grimoire is always good. Shouts are always good for a haste Aga. We'll use Sentinels Grimoire. Because chances are we won't have Keeper's Tome up ready. So let's head into level 1 of the Desert Temple. Sorry, the Desert Runic Temple. We'll also wait as always. Yeah, looks easy enough. Probably even might be able to do heroic. The next step up. Ah, that's alright, damage. Oh, we've already got 70 prismatic seeds, that's nice. So it looks like we'll be grinding this one mostly with this party. Probably grind heroic with our normal party. Of course, that's co co cost more stamina. Uh, it doesn't look like we'll be able to do heroic since that'll cost 45 stamina and we'll have less than 45 stamina so all in all this is a pretty cool event look like we'll have another one for a while I hope they do when FF15 comes out I hope they do a collaboration event with that for both games actually that would be pretty nice if they do I'm sure they will I'm sure they will. And into the boss level. Taking a bit more to kill these guys, but... Eh. Hey, Prismatic Seeds. 35 per enemy, it looks like. Hey, another one. Cancel. Pop it back down to three. Oh, it's this music again. Why can't you put on the cool music? Harbringer. I thought that hit all. Never mind. See how much damage we do with Diaga. Yeah, okay. Looks like this is going to take a bit. Stone again. That's fine. Good thing we've got sentinels on. Please Argus Strike doing a bit more damage. Ruinger doing a bit more damage. No need to heal up yet. Stone. Are we going to see all the phases? Changes to water. Oh crap, we just use Blizzaga Strike. Is that gonna heal him up? No. Ah, just use this. See what he does in this form. We just use Kuraja. Use class change. Oh, we'll use Keeper's Tome. Leave class changes increases his buff and eh, nothing to get on. Let's 
see what the lich does next. Oh, Gonzaga. Oh, yeah, make it blink. Alright, that's enough. Let's finish him off. Get any prismatic shards from him. No, just a knob. Okay. And we get champion for that. I'm sure, we'll have mastery rewards. Yeah, three star. Fifteen hundred. Rune blade. Copper armlet. Converts our garland since we already have him and a Mithro for our troubles. Alright, so from this alone, let's see how much stuff we can get from. Obviously, yours is gonna. Ooh, 46 actually, okay. So. Next up is. So it goes difficulty 80, 99, 110, 120 see how far we get in other videos and let's jump into the prismatic seeds see how much stuff we can actually buy okay so it looks like we can only exchange a maximum maximum of five at a time or a thousand at a time maybe nah, probably not probably just five at a time so let's so, okay, so we've got two mithril left. So, all in all, that's pretty damn good. I'm loving this event at the moment. So it looks like this is going to last until the 28th of September. So get grinding. Grab all the stuff you need. Growth eggs. You probably want more of those. Uh, although you can only exchange 20 times. All this other stuff as well. Always handy. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So remember if you like this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe. It's helped helps out the channel a lot and as always I will see you in the next episode.